What's up guys, Halloween here from OG Fitness and in today's video I want to talk about a um, how to ease back into judo or how to not back into judo but how to ease into judo if you're 40 and over and um, you have you do have some uh, some athletic background martial art background right but you never really done grappling and uh, that and also that you're not uh, over too too heavy okay because it does make a difference so I'll make another video on that if you're uh, my recommendations if you're uh, if you're really heavy okay uh, overweight because that plays a big um, <clears throat> it increases the risk factor of injury and stuff like that right so this is for T the Nomad right one of the subs uh, part of the community so he was asking essentially he's 40 years old and uh, let's see here he's done Muay Thai for three years and but he's been sedentary, sedentary for the last few years so would it be risky for him um, to uh, get inflicted on the mat over and over okay well <clears throat> even if you're not you don't have an excess weight so you're not overweight okay but if you're 40 and you've been sedentary so you haven't been lifting weights you haven't been uh, uh, practicing any kind of martial arts for a little while it, it is a risk okay so definitely uh, you'd have to ease into it so how would you ease into it well, you'd have to start going to the gym, okay? And going to the gym to lift weights because, and of course, to work on your cardio and all that. Uh, that's important too. Cardio actually helps you recover faster, you know, makes everything better. Um, and uh, well, you're gonna need cardio for judo, that's for sure, okay? But uh, you gotta lift weights, you gotta give your body time to adapt, right? To get back into it, you know, like grease the joints and all that. And, um, and from there, if you uh, if you go practice judo, like you have to find a school that's actually adult friendly. Okay, what I mean by that is some schools are more, um, you know, like they don't uh, they, they they focus more on the kids, you know, because because the kids are the future, so to speak. You know, when it comes to judo, I know it's kind of unfortunate, but uh, that's how it is in, in most uh, in most countries. In Japan, I I believe it's different because they. They actually have classes for adults and they understand adults have to work and in Japan those guys they work like you know 12 16 hour days and stuff like that so if they get to their judo practice and they get there late you know they there there's a whole system right they warm up on their own they do their uchikomis then after that they, they do some groundwork and after that then after that they do some like some sparring I forgot the exact structure they follow but I read I read it once and it was super interesting it was, but it was really highly adapted for adults, right? But these adults normally, they're already like black belts. So anyways, so that's the problem with most judo clubs is that it's more tailored for, for kids, you know, because the kids are the future. The kids eventually, uh, you know, they, 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 they practice and then over time, right, they, uh, they compete, they get their black belt. And, and then after that, if they're really good and they're doing well, then of course, you know, they, they go, they, they do, they keep competing, they win, and then national team, and then they get off, they set off to the uh, uh, to the national center where you know where the national team trains, and after that they you know essentially go for the Olympics, right? Um, so a lot of clubs, you know, they don't really care much for adults because there's not that many adults that continue. Usually, uh, kids, teenagers like that, they if they don't end up on the um, on the national team going for uh, going for the Olympics, what they do is that they just uh, they just stop, you know, and and that's it. So there's not that many adults that start judo uh, later on in life. So if you're starting like myself, I started at 36, and let's say you're 40 right now and you want to get into it, okay, you have to find a club that's uh, that that gives classes to adults, right? Because you don't want to be training. It's okay to train with the young guys, but I mean you have to you have to ease back into it. So. You have to learn how to break fall. That's the most important thing. So, because break falling is what's gonna save you to a certain extent, okay? So learning how to break fall properly and losing that fear of break falling, right? Being able to be flipped anytime and any angle and stuff like that, knowing how to tuck your chin, hitting the ground with your, your, with your forearm, right forearm slash uh, right here, the ridge of your palm. Bam, bam. And you know, looking in the direction of uh, where you fall and all that. Like that's super important and then but even then it takes a toll because most guys throw right-handed okay most people are right-handed okay when it comes to judo so they're throwing with the right hand bam so what's gonna happen is you're always gonna be falling more on one side than the other so more on your right side uh, actually should I say no if someone fall 
Yeah, because if they attack my right arm and I flip, I'm going to, you know, slam the floor with my left arm. So your body is always falling in that one side, you know, and that takes a toll on the body. So the only way to, um, to minimize, to balance it out, and it's relative balance, right? Because you'll never be able to fully balance it out, is to go to the gym and uh, do a lot of um, uh, corrective work uh, to, to compensate. Right? So what I mean by corrective work is that, well, first of all, you have to be generally, you have to be strong. And once you're generally strong, you build up general strength, endurance, and some muscle mass, right? Then after that, you have to work on the side that you essentially never use, right? And of course, you got to work at your shoulders a lot, your back, your lower, uh, your legs. Uh, there's a lot of things that go into it, you know, if you want to be able to do it and, and uh, you know, minimize uh, the damage, so to speak, because well, you know, like it's fun as hell and that's why I keep doing it, you know, at the risk of injury and all that. But I mean, I have to be smarter and more careful about it. So to get back to what I was saying, if you attack on the right side a lot, so I'm always, I'm right-handed in judo, okay? So I, I'm always attacking with my right arm like this. I'm also always grabbing this here and throwing, which caused essentially my spine, my musculature on my right side is so tight at this point because of that, that it actually pulled my spine Lower spot, lower back, like it pulled it, and because of the impacts too, every time you fall, that it pulled it more to the right side. So I gotta do a ton of exercises, okay, on my left side. So I gotta be pulling, because I, I never attack on the left, rarely. Like, I try, but eh, you know, it's, it's a work in progress, man, to be able to, to actually throw techniques from both sides, especially in judo. It's a little bit easier when, uh, when you're doing striking, right? Uh, but in judo, man, it's, uh, it's, it's hard, man. So, anyways. I do a lot of compensation exercises on this side, a lot of anti-rotational wood chopping and stuff like that. And of course, a lot of stuff on my shoulders, you know, like the, the rotator cuffs, you know, external rotation, man, you gotta do a ton of that. Your shoulders have to be bulletproof. So you gotta do your shoulders like crazy. And then you gotta work out your legs too, your core. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's it. So you have to ease back into it that way. So just to reiterate, you have to, first of all, start getting back into shape. You can do this at the same time, right? Uh, if you find a, a club that's uh, that has adult classes and it's a little bit more adapted and you know you talk to the, the sensei, the coach, and tell them, hey, listen, I really want to judo, but you know, I want to ease back into it. I, I want to make sure like I, I minimize the chance of injury. Don't say, ah, I don't want any injuries, because like if he tells you, oh yeah, don't worry, you won't get injured, he's fucking crazy. Okay? Or he's delusional or he doesn't know what he's talking about, because you are gonna get a little bit busted up. Right? So to minimize this and to make sure you keep this at bay uh, as much as possible, right? you have to, first of all, lift weights, take care of your fitness. So you got to lift weights for your muscles, you got to do some cardio, and after that you find a school uh, that's adult friendly, okay? and you really got to master break falling. You got to master it because, uh, you know, and, and so you have to master break falling, then after that, uh, once you master that, you understand how to fall like to your, from your back to your side right how to roll and all that how to keep your chin stuck then after that well you know when someone throws you all of a sudden it's a different feeling too so you have to be able to be thrown and land and um you know be safe and, and still be okay and then from there uh you work your way up and then you know slowly but surely you know but you got to take it easy okay and um and once again if you're 40 years old i don't recommend doing any more than two hard sessions a week of judo you know, uh, two hard sessions, I mean, something that's intense uh, with a lot of randori, right? And of course, it's always, uh, in my, in, like, it's always, uh, that's why for people, I'll make another video on this, but uh, when people ask me, okay, uh, BJJ or judo first, right? I usually recommend uh, BJJ first, just to adapt the joints and then, you know, get back into it, you're on the ground, it's safer, and then after that, you can slowly integrate judo later on when your body is nice and strong, right? So, that's the thing. Um, um, I can flip into the mat over and over. Yeah, so that's the thing. And also, like, you can, uh, when you, uh, you know, they have crash mats in clubs, right? So, if you talk to your, to your, to your coach and sensei, and, you know, like, you learn, and he tells you yes, he'll, you know, these classes are adapted for adults, and uh, you know, go slowly and stuff like that. So yeah, that's good. And also remember, like, there's always crash mats in judo clubs. So you could always, uh, you know, pull out the crash mat, or at least ask the coach to pull out the crash mats when you're doing, um, 
um, randori. No, no, sorry, not randori, uh, nagekomi, which is your practicing throwing, right? So that's always a safer way to go about it, right? And uh, you really got to check it out. And, and sometimes, like, I think the better, a better approach is also, like, if you visit a school, okay, and then you, uh, you just sit into an adult class, like, uh, call first, ask if they, they, they have classes for adults, and then after that, you uh, you go sit down, you watch a class, and then from there, uh, when the class is over, or you, could, or you come a little bit earlier, and you talk about the sensei, you talk to the sensei and the coach, and ask them, okay, well, listen, uh, you know, uh, I, I'm aware that, you know, like, there, there's there's a risk to any kind of contact sport, you know, but I'm really interested, uh, is there a way that I can progress through it without um, uh, <laughs> minimizing, uh, you know, like, the, the damage, so to speak, you know? And that's the way to go, man. But you definitely have to lift weights. Like you're you're gonna get busted up so much faster if you're not in shape, right? So I, I don't know what kind of shape you're in uh, actually, right? But um, you know, if you haven't been doing anything for a few years, you, you should like get back into it. get back into it. lifting weights, running, doing some cardio, stretching, and all that, right? After that, find yourself a club that's uh, that's friendly, uh, and then just don't don't take the first club that uh, that you go see. You know, really just get a feel for the club. So check out a class, talk to the sensei over the phone or whatnot, and then, yeah, and then see from there. But definitely, uh, I mean, I started at 36, but I, I was already, uh, I already did six years of a BJJ, so my body was pretty, and you know, I stayed in shape, I worked out and all that, so there you go, man. I hope uh, hope this video was helpful, guys. So remember to like the video if you like it, uh, subscribe to the channel, comments below, let me know what you think. Uh, if you have any more questions, uh, and, uh, you know, what are your experiences regarding uh, starting judo uh, later in life, right? And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. If you share the video, it helps me grow the channel. And click on the notification bell uh, to, uh, you know, to get noticed when I make videos. All right, guys. Peace.